there's Love Storks, Mr. Loverboy, back from Greece. From Greece? What was he doing over there? He went off chasing a princess called Irina, with whom he was head over heels in love. But there, he found out she was marrying that rotter Brutus, the son of Caesar. Love Stoic said he'd do anything he could to stop the marriage and blurted out he'd win the Olympic Games to prove his worth. Princess Irina liked the idea, and to give him a chance, she declared, I shall marry the man who wins the Games. But there was itch. Love Storix just learned that only Romans can compete in the Olympic Games. All his hopes were crushed. Poor Love Storix. Oh, boy meets girl stuff. It always gets messy, you know. Couldn't agree more. Hey, enough of broken hearts. How about we go to the forest and pick us a few wild boars? It would be good to pick us five of them for breakfast. Five? That's right. Two for you and two for me and one for Dogmatics. Oh, oh my legs. Dogmatics can't eat a whole <laughs> boar all by himself. He's too little. Well, all right then. I'll help him finish it. To get over that tree trunk, try running, followed by a double jump. Look over there! A ball! You know, you can take control of me. You can return to me. One down, four more, and we can have lunch. Are you sure we need that many? We only need about half. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. A walk in the forest always works up an appetite. We need five fours at least. OK, OK. Whatever your appetite says. I know a great place for boars, you'll see. In fact, boars are just like mushrooms, except you need a bigger basket. Still need three more. Oh, I'm feeling much better. Look up and on the left. Our shield is ready. A shield? Well, I'm seeing The shields indicate our life points. You what? Two more and we can have lunch. One more and it's lunch time. Oh, hey, I didn't tell you. Last night I had a horrible nightmare. A nightmare? Yes. I dreamed I was all, how can I put it, strange. I was me, but at the same time I wasn't me. And in the dream I didn't want to be strong anymore. And I refused to bash Romans. That was a terrible nightmare. Right. And five great pause, Nobilix. Oh, there we are. I knew it. What's up? Shush. Listen. Every time it's the same. I'm hungry. It must be the forest here. <laughs> Back to the village. Oh, bellies. Yes, I know. I fell in when I was a baby. <laughs> you don't say. man in the world. One. Hop, hop, hop. Grail, out of the way, peasants. Hop, 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 hop. As fast as the wind. That's all my fault. Excuse me, Roman. You really shouldn't go dropping rubbish in the forest. It sure is weird, your Roman obelix. Like that trail there behind him. Did not scare off the boars, things like that. Oh no, the boars. We forgot the boars. Got up with the both of them. Easy as pie. Javelin, and no doubt I'm best at that. Right, back to the village. Time to see Getafix. That Roman, the strange goings on, I have a funny feeling. 
Our druid might have something to say about this. What do you think it is, Asterix? I don't know, Obelix, but it looks dangerous. In your dream, you were like that Roman, you said? It was a nightmare, not a dream. I was exactly like that, and I didn't want to bash Romans anymore. Imagine that. Get a fix! Get a fix! Hello there, old chaps! How I do to just get a fix? What's happened to you? Your I'm what? What's up? Oh, excuse me, dear druid, but it's like you've lost a pound or two. You're as flat as, as a papyrus. <laughs> yes, my friends, I'm here to bring you very bad news, but it seems the nightmare has already started. Get a fix is a victim of an evil that threatens us all. Shantifa, please do calm down and tell us everything you know. You're right. I was on a secret mission in Greece and Olympia where the sacred games are imminent, and there I discovered that an evil wizard named Dr. Mabus is plotting to distort reality to fulfill his fiendish goals. He wants to distort reality? That's right, get a fix. I made on-the-spot inquiries. This Dr. Mabus has in his possession the strangest of keys, and with this key he opens up portals to access... Uh, parallel worlds. Worlds that look like ours, but are different. Portals? Parallel worlds? Hmm. And is that dangerous, that? It's very dangerous, Asterix. You see, there exists an infinity of worlds beyond our own, and it's never too smart to open the portals connecting together other dimensions. It's generally a recipe for catastrophe and mayhem. You look like the living proof on Papyrus Getafix. Like that Roman we bumped into in the forest. I don't know what that Dr. Mabus is up to, but if he carries on prodding and poking with his dimensional key, the future isn't rosy. You're right, Sam. It's high time to pay a little visit to Mr. Dr. Mabus. Oh, I have an idea. We can just say we're competing in the games. What's more, it's a cheer-up love story. Oh, Ben Nix, we already told you that the games are reserved for Greeks and for Romans. You know, Obelix's idea isn't so dumb, because, no offense meant, technically, since Caesar invaded Gaul, you are Romans. What? Me, Roman? Or the other one? It is better, Obelix, to be Gaulish in name than Roman on papyrus. I knew that you wouldn't let me down. You'll see, we'll win these games hands down. Here we come, Olympia! Asterix, tell me, did you find that Getafix was strange this morning? Strange? Uh, no. In what way, strange? I don't know, I found him a little bit flat. Do you think I'm depressing him? <laughs> no, no, don't worry, love story. Sounds really is fine. How strange that is. No one seems to have noticed for real that you're not actually yourself. It's a good thing, Asterix. Ignorance in this case is bliss. Children, here is Olympia, the jewel of Greek civilization. It's time I made myself scarce. I travel fastest when I'm solo. We'll meet up again later inside the village. Oh, strangers! Visitors are not allowed through this entrance. But we aren't visitors. We are Gallo-Roman athletes, we are. Maybe you need more proof. Uh, in that case, you'll need to obtain accreditation that grants entry to both the Olympic Village and to each of these sporting events. And how do we obtain this accreditation? You'll need to acquire a Gaul Comers Certificate of Gaulishness and you'll need to pass an aptitude test. Where shall we start? With the paperwork or the aptitude tests? Whoa, you know me. Well then, let's get the certificates out of the way. 